Welcome everybody. Thanks for checking this video out today. No weird intros. I normally like to throw Sam off and like... I thought you were yeah, going to. I hit her with something <laughs> strange, but I like was adjusting the mic before and stuff, but we're good. My name is Dan. This is my wife, Sam C. Hi. Sam, how you doing? Good. Awesome. Also, by the way, cheap little plug here. We have a show together on Wednesday nights, Beard Advice Live, 9 p.m. Eastern. It's a live stream where we help people with their beards. I hope you guys tune in and, and see what we got going on. So today we have a review of a brand new company. They launched within the last month or two. Oh, wow. And I've actually been helping them and trying their stuff for several months now. So it's been really cool to kind of see them grow along this process. And that company is called Tabletop Beard. Tabletop Beard. Now, First impressions, you, I had to set up some stuff. Sam was uh -huh. looking at the the whole assortment of products they have here. What was your first kind of thought? I asked if it was like a Dungeons and Dragons sort of theme. It, it is. It just looked like it. Yeah, and so Dungeons and Dragons is a tabletop game. They didn't want to limit it to Dungeons and Dragons because there's all sorts of games that are like that. Uh, but it is a passion of theirs. This is a company started by three brothers out of the Pacific Northwest. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and so they're all doing it together, and they've got some really cool stuff in the works, like building like story stories that go with this, and nice. having games, and possibly live streams, and all sorts of really cool stuff. Um, one of the brothers that I've interacted with the most, he went to school for like mead making and wine, like all that. That's so, a thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. full full out like school. So he knew like the whole ins and outs. Renaissance of, school. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the whole ins and outs of like the food and beverage industry, and so like switching to this was ah, very simple. My eyelash keeps getting caught on the bottom of my eyelash. Sorry. <laughs> because they're all kind of related, right? If you can make safe beverages, you're going to be able to make safe beard <laughs> products. So that's been really cool. Uh, a couple of things to knock it off real quick. I hope you guys check out the art on their website. I'll do the best to show it today. Uh, but a bottle goes for $19.99 for a one ounce oil. Um, I don't know if I have a discount code with them. They're not an affiliate or anything. Uh, but if I do, I will either put it up here in editing if I get it in time. If <laughs> not, if there is one I'll put in the description and there just might not be one. So $19.99, very fair. And also somebody just offered us, they're like, hey Dan, I do Airbnbs. If you ever want to come out uh, to the Pacific Northwest, <gasps> I got one for you. Yes. We would love to. <laughs> like that weather. We're trying to work our way west. Yeah. It's just so hard We've with Violet. Covered most yeah. of the east of the Mississippi, especially yep. this summer. We're doing yep. the whole New England to Maine trip. Yep. But yeah, our daughter's a a handful, and today's no different. <laughs> but let me hit you guys with the carrier blend real quick. Meadow foam, meadow foam, uh, rose hip, golden jojoba, argan, avocado, sunflower, and then a fragrance blend. Fantastic. I would call this a medium viscosity. As you guys can see here, it is a really beautiful golden color. They had asked me some feedback to like, what kind of bottles? And I was like, man, go clear. Like, yeah, show that I off. I like that. I do too. It looks really cool. Yep. And anybody that has a gray, white, silver beard, normally they just kind of intrinsically ask, oh, is it going to dye my beard? No, I've never heard of anyone where a carrier blend will actually dye. Hmm. Now, there are some fragrances that can change the color and have some issues, but not with anything like this. So that's the blend. Really, really good stuff. Makes the beard look good, feel good. We coached outside today for an hour plus yep. and had ran around with the kids and all this stuff. And it was humid. It's super humid and, and my beard's still doing really well. All I did was get a little bit damp before this, ran a comb through it, and we're good to go. <laughs> so... We're gonna go through some scents here, and then we have all of them actually. Yeah. And I will probably pivot off to some other things. They do have balm and butter as well. Their balm is a firm hold balm, as a balm should be. And it's gonna get new artwork too. So I don't have the new one in hand, but they're gonna have new artwork and character. And the character of the balm is gonna be like tied to their website, who is gonna be, I think, the character that makes the blogs which is really oh, cool. That's cool. I know. So they got some really nice, nice little like details and they're doing things like sponsoring like game nights at a local like uh, comic book store and oh, just super cool. I know just doing it the right way and then they have a nice nourishing beard butter as well so they got you covered on the balm and the butter side of things all right so the first one we have is the game master and this is unscented so this is just that straight up carrier blend this is the first one I tried from them probably three four months ago I'm um, just giving them a, a a uh, take on is there a smell to it is it natural nutty oh my hands smell earthy? like onions oh no oh, oh no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> is it natural nutty earthy or is there just no smell it's like water there's a little bit of something but it's so minuscule that i can't smell or i can't 
figure out what it is. It's, I wouldn't yeah. say it's like nutty or earthy or anything like that. It's just like oil. You're smelling something. Yeah. yeah. It's it's very, very minimal. With that list and this color, I was like, okay, it's going to be kind of nutty yeah, yeah, and yeah. earthy. I like that. I like nutty, earthy smells, uh, but it's just pretty dang near scentless. Mm -hmm. Really close there. All right. And this is in no particular order. We're just going to kind of go over and tell you guys. And with their labels, I love how it's laid out here, the company, the artwork, and then they have the scent uh, list on here as well. So the first one we have is the Ranger, the Ranger. And a lot of these have to do with like common characters that you find in these games. Okay. So give it a, a smell. See the artwork. Yeah, and okay. the, the artwork is really, is really cool. cool. Really, really cool. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Wow. Right off, the, mm. and this is in no particular order, guys. Literally, yeah, randomly sure. placed out. Sure. <laughs> I, I did not try to pick any of Sam's favorites first. What is this? All right. Well, I will tell you. Give tell your me. thoughts on it it's, first. Uh, hmm. You enjoy it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Here. I don't even know what it is. I, how do you describe that? So what this is, that? is forest, fresh rain, and leather. Leather, uh, uh, duh. Yep. I feel like I have not smelled a leather scent in so long. I've, what is wrong with you people yeah, out there? I have not probably reviewed a leather scent in, Let me I don't know, again. months and months. Oh and my gosh. <laughs> Sam loves leather scents. And I just don't have one mm. that's in my super, like, daily choice routine. But this one's, the mix of, like, the, the foresty almost pine in there, and then the fresh rain. It's like, a fresh leather scent. Yeah, That's it's exactly not, what it is. It's not that punch you in the face super artificial mm. one. It is a fresh leather That's scent. That's so good. All right, so that one's going to stay so up top good. again, guys. That's the Ranger. Really cool art there, too. All right, next one we have is Rogue. And all of these are laid out really nicely on the website if you're not able to see fully here. All right, so same deal there. Give it a little smell, and then what do you think about, uh, about it? Or, and you can kind of try to guess what's in it, too. Okay. Of course. The super sniffer herself. Tobacco? Mm -hmm. I'll read them first next time. Yeah, do that because <laughs> I right. like. What you got? I thought it's like a, there's some like staleness, like a tobacco yeah. sort of smell or. So they call it, try it again. They okay. call this an evening cologne. Okay. An evening cologne. To me. That's the description? Yep, yep. Okay. To me, it is like an older man cologne. It's definitely not a young man's cologne. Almost agreed. in that aftershave kind of yeah, category. Yeah, agreed. Not some, it's something that I would smell on someone, and I'd be like, oh, they're wearing yeah. strong cologne. Yeah. But it wouldn't be like, oh, I really like that right. cologne. Right, like Dan's got to yeah. have that one. Yeah. All right, next one is Wizard. Wizard here. All right, let me get the feel on it. Okay, do you want to hear what it is first? I don't know. All right, I feel I got like it. I'm off my game today. <laughs> no, you, you got it. It's all about what you like and how Ooh, we can convey it. Oh, this smells like... A Christmas store. Okay. But a lemony Christmas store. Mmm. I do love the smell of lemons. Or orange? Tea. God. <laughs> that, all right, read them next. <laughs> so this is tobacco and spices. Doesn't it smell like tea? There's a hundred percent it smells like tea. It's like, like a dry, tea with earthy a lemon tea. lemon slice in it. Yeah, it smells like an Earl Grey tea to it's, me. Okay, the spices... Remind me of like Hobby you Lobby. walk, yeah, like you walk into like a craft store, yep, and then it's like tea with a lemon slice, yep. mixed together. And I've tried all of these, and I've tried all of them several times, but you'll notice like this one is probably the least tried as compared to the other ones where it's <laughs> below the label. I don't like this one personally. I, I don't like spices. I don't like so many of those aspects. So it's not for me. But I know some of you will enjoy it. I would call it dry though. Like, it's a dry type scent. It's not like a wet tea, like you smell. I would, I would smell like, like the tea. Like tea like leaves? The, yeah. Like, like a tea the, bag? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Like okay. the herbs that make up tea. Okay. So, could be for some of you guys, just not not my thing. Where would you put it? It's it's in the middle for me. Okay. The All spices right. throw me off. All right. Next one we have is Bard. Is Bard. And again, guys, I, I've covered this, but the blend truly is fantastic. I mean, so many of you will know these ingredients. There's not a single one on that list that I've ever heard anybody worry about. It's so many different favorites that uh, that we see commonly, but also like, okay, that one's a little bit out. Meadow foam, my favorite ingredient. Amazing. Okay. This one is vanilla coffee and maple glaze. Oh. Vanilla coffee and maple glaze. Oh, I need 
a sweet treat now. <laughs> and Sam, I, we've talked about it before, but Sam has her, she's a few months into her Nespresso machine. How are you feeling about your Nespresso I still? literally just looked at my stash and I have to make another order already. And I feel like I just made one. And they have great like uh, two day shipping, kind of oh, like yeah. Amazon for themselves. All right, but what you got on their take okay. on it? It's like, um, like a coffee shop that also sells sweet pastries. It's yeah. like very sweet and very like coffee like in your face. Yeah, it's not so much coffee or coffee beans. It's yeah. the creamer, the syrup, yeah, the yeah, everything. Exactly. It's it's a coffee shop scent. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of you will like it. I right now I like coffee, but I like it more on the like black smells side. like black. Right. Yeah. I like the smell of coffee. Yeah. I don't drink coffee. Yeah. Some of you are like, what? Yeah. New viewers, nope, I don't drink coffee. All right, next one we have here is the cleric. Cleric. And so this one is going to be uh, mint berry and eucalyptus. Ooh, that sounds so good. Mint berry and eucalyptus. And it's so fun to see oh. how the blends come together on paper and then in actuality. Okay, I can't, I feel like this is not mixed very well. Let's see. All right, shake it up. Shake okay. it up. Okay. It's interesting. Okay. The berry, I wish, was maybe like a little fresher because I'm getting like berry flavored kids medicine out yeah. of it. And that might be with because of the mint and the eucalyptus. Yeah. Like like you know, like berry flavored cough syrup, how it has that mentholiness yep. in it to like clear you out. Yep. So like I wish the berry was like more fresh and less artificial smelling. hundred percent. But I love the idea of that combo. I think that sounds so cool. Yep. It's it's a little bit too punchy, a little bit like too much of a bite to it mm -hmm. rather than freshness. Uh, so I agree. I think that that could become something special yeah. with a little bit of tweaking in there. Uh, but it, it's very, very punchy is would be the best way <laughs> that I could say it. All right. Next one is Paladin. Right. Paladin. Yeah. Paladin. I think I'm saying it right. If not, he's they're going to tell me. He's yeah. just winging it over and here. And this is a barber shop in Amber scent. Okay. Amber. Amber. This is like five years now. Amber keeps showing up in our life almost every week. I like this one. It's very, I think it's light. It is light. I'm not, yeah. I think it's light. At least lighter than the other ones. And I, I will I will say their scent strength on almost all of them is in the medium strong for like strength and a medium for longevity. They're not super light scents, but they're not overpowering. They're right in that medium to medium strong. I like it. I think it's like a me like a medium. You said medium like four times. Um, I think it's like a good barbershop yeah. scent that also with the amber makes it a little more distinct than just like your basic barber yeah. shop. So I do like that. It does smell like a barber shop to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got that barber side, that that shaving cream type smell to it. And then do you get talc in there? Oh, 100%. <clears throat> Talc's yeah. the first thing I smell. That's yeah, shaving cream, talcum. You're, it's like a traditional one, and like Sam said, with a little bit of that mm -hmm. amber in there. It's good. It's good. Yep. I don't crave it or love it or anything, but it's good. Good, solid one. All right, the next one is the Barbarian, the Barbarian. And I believe this one, let me see the scent profile here. Yeah, this I had the very first bottle made of this. Oh, wow. Which is really cool. All right, so this one is Blood Orange, Yuzo, Grapefruit yuzo. and bergamot. What's yuzo? Yuzo is a fruit. I think it comes from uh, some region in Asia. Yeah, it's okay. kind of like a nice smooth. I, I like Yuzo a lot. Oh. Yeah. Yuzo crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Stupid. Beard fluff. There we go. All mm -hmm. right. It's like, yeah, It to me it's just like a pretty sweet orange smell. Mmm, so good. Yeah, it's an orange citrus scent. Do you think it's sweet? Yes. It's a little too sweet for me. I'm not really into like super See, sweet go stuff again. right now. I, I don't think it's too sweet at all. I think it's right, right on. I think the mint berry was too sweet for sure. This one's right on this for one, me. This one, okay. For me, it's like if you had a citrus and then you put a sweet tart in it. Just one. Okay, just one. It's just a little Does too... it fizz? Does it bubble up? No, it just sinks. Oh, uh, okay. And all then right. dissolves. That's disappointing. All right, our <laughs> last one here is the fighter. The Fighter, and I have two bottles of the Barbarian. I really like that one. <laughs> All right, and this one is Smoked Oud and Steel. Mm-hmm. Well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Smoked Oud and Steel. Ooh. Dang. I've never smoked Oud myself, so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Smoked 
Like a smoker. Come He's on. Like barbecue. He's Jeez. full of it today, though. <laughs> I was, this is so good. When you coach eight-year-olds, you got to get into, like, your jokes. <laughs> your I was dad, pretty your funny. Your dad jokes. Yeah, I was pretty funny today. All right, what you got here? Mm. Smoked oud and steel. Not smoky, like I expected it right. to be. Um, to me, it's like, um, God, how do you even describe it? It's not a cologne, I want to say, but it's like on the verge of being a cologne. Yeah. It's like a masculine scent, like a sexy, masculine, almost cologne. It's a oud cologne to me. Like okay. it, this is, if you know oud, this is like, this is an oud scent. Mm -hmm. It is, it's manly, it's musky, it, it smells like a yeah. man. Like yeah. that's, that's what this is. Like I would wear this on a date. Mm -hmm. About the only time I would wear that is on a date because it is. It's I it's love pungent. It. When I wear it, unfortunately, like women at the store, I'm like, stop it, married. With married, that and your tattoo, married. Oh I know. My gosh. Jeez, moms, call me. the soccer moms. Goodness gracious, when I'm coaching. No, for real though, it is a really <laughs> nice oud scent. If you're someone that's like, I've been craving oud, this would do it. This yes, would do it for sure. Hundred percent. All right, top three for you. Yes. Okay. So for me, the Barbarian is in the top three. Sam is probably on the fringe there. Yeah. And then the two kind of unanimous favorites would be the Ranger and the Fighter. So we got the Oud. Now mm -hmm. go back to the Ranger and see okay. if you had to recommend one to a, a best friend to buy for her husband. Ranger. Wow. Because I love leather so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. And it's okay. not the overpowering spicy leather, which I appreciate, because sometimes that can be a bit too much. Mm -hmm. So, new company, three brothers, they're doing it the right way, all legal, all safe. They have a passion for the theme. They're trying to do it in the most unique way possible. They've got, check out their website, guys. They have blogs, they've got stories, they've got a ton of really cool things that they're doing, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for them, because I think they found a really cool niche, and they just so happen to have an amazing product to go with it. And again, Pacific Northwest. So, comment down below, you guys. Any questions on this company? Any thoughts? If you've tried them, leave a comment down below. I've actually been getting questions over the last week, and I've been telling people, review coming, just wait, review <laughs> coming, just hold up there. Also, do you play any kind of tabletop games. Something that's like this. We have a huge closet full of games. Yep. I would say the closest would probably be we Settlers haven't even, of Catan. We haven't even played it yet. It's <laughs> but, still like wrapped up. But Settlers of Catan is probably the most. We have like Risk, I think. And yep. Some other ones like that. The farming game. Does anybody know that game? That's, that's her, way back. That's her childhood oh. right there. That like there's like a pig that falls over it's or like something. It's like from the sixties. Yeah, she loves it though. <laughs> I Absolutely love it. loves it. Like Christmas time, the family will so play good. it. So let us know if you guys play any tabletop uh, games or anything like that. Uh, I, I think it's cool. I like the characters. I like people finding something. The the whole world of like Dungeons and Dragons is massive. Yeah, massive. I, I think I could get into oh, it. Oh yeah. But like, because I was like a Sims girl, and I feel like that's sort of the same thing. Her Sims addiction was wild. <laughs> wild. Like, it was crazy. So, but no more, no more a, Sims. in another world without kids. Probably. Right, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing, too, when I think about tabletop games, I'm like, uh -huh. I don't know when we would ever fit it because in. Because isn't that something that you leave out, or no? I think so. Or I it's like... So takes up like 10 hours of your life. Right, oh, at least, yeah. yeah, for sure. And if you guys have any info on tabletop games where you're like, oh, you're like cringing right uh. now, like, oh, what are they talking? Leave <laughs> it down below, we love to learn, so yeah. I would love to see those comments. So, if you guys could, I didn't even ask you, and if you made it this far, I hope you did, hit the thumbs up on the video. <laughs> Appreciate you guys watching, and if you do try them, come back and leave an unfiltered comment down below. Best thing ever, it was okay, it's not for you, let's hear it and let the other future potential consumers hear it. All right, Miss Sam C. Oh, by the way, so this is coming out on Friday. Okay. It should be very soon that we have hats <gasps> in the Beauty and the Beard MI they Etsy. They shipped. So it'll be close. It'll be close. And maybe, maybe Monday, if they're here in time for Command's Corner, oh. 9 p.m. Eastern, oh, we can launch it. that'll be really nice. That'll be really cool. Come so on, hats. Keep an eye out, guys. It'll be linked in the description. Uh, that's what Sam C. makes. And check out some shirts while you're at it. A decal for your car. <laughs> and we appreciate you guys. Today is, uh, or the rest of the weekend's like a productive yard work kind oh, of day. Yeah. We and did a lot yesterday. We hope everybody had a great Mother's Day weekend. <laughs> and I think that's all we got. That's all. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Please stay bearded and stay positive.